welcome back everybody today I want to go ahead and go over the warrior skill sets here um, and more over their talents uh, the skills in general if you haven't heard from me a, a dozen times already upgrade them how you like but personally I like to get them either to 75 or 100 uh, evenly and then at that point jump them up 25 levels at a time so I can use the ruins to increase a more balance of BR than trying to level them all up evenly to 125 uh, just it's very cumbersome in time um, and I know you've heard me say that several times before, so I'll go ahead and move on. Uh, the talents here are, are just as any other characters, the meat and potatoes here. And the structure overall for PvP and PvM are relatively the same um, location of the talents based uh, across all, the, all characters here for you. So with that being said, um, there's not a great difference in the pvp versus pvm setup uh, as far as the warrior goes just as they are as a character in general they're going to be that middle of the line they're not they're going to be strong but not overly strong they're going to have great defense but not over great defense and they're a little bit slower okay so um, with that coming kind of being said you know it kind of goes right into the way these talents play out there is a slight difference i would do uh if i were going pvm um, and on a basic setup until you get really high proficiencies, you know, you're going to want to have to go ahead and use your density deity, um, which is going to be great. It's going to do your crowd control resistance, um, and 25 damage reduction, really just a damage reduction. Okay. It's going to keep you in the fight, uh, and it's going to reduce the amount of damage your character takes. And then as you see here, um, bestowed by legion is active the warrior has 15% movement speed and 30% attack speed which is great for the warrior because again he doesn't have the greatest uh, speed dodge and agility so this really helps boost that so you're gonna want to carry this regardless of um, the setup you're gonna have I think this is the best overall skill for him or talent uh, and then I like as always to continue in a, an attack based setup uh, and the Scorching Flames is going to be the one opposed to uh, the Healing Flames uh, or the Frost Flames as far as a, a PvP setup goes. Uh, and personally, I think even PvM, your defense should be strong enough where you're not really fearing any monsters unless it's maybe the tower. And usually at that point, it's only reflective damage that's bothering you anyway. Uh, and you can defeat that simply by manually uh, doing the events. Um, and I will get into that in, in another episode. But... Uh, furthermore, the only really difference uh, in the setups is going to be my, what I call like your ability boost here for you. Um, so you have Divine Favor and Provoke right off the first two here. Um, provoke is going to be great for PVM. You want to lure those monsters in uh, to get them within you know, your sword grasp and go ahead and knock them all out as fast as possible. And it's great for warrior everything from warrior guard to... Um, you name it right anything you're fighting multiple bosses and you don't want to have to go hunt them down um, and, and have them miss out on one of your special attacks provokes a great way to go uh, if you're on a pvp side i would leave out provoke and go with divine favor uh, this is going to give you a little bit extra health which is going to help out um, you know could be the deciding factor in a close battle um, but that's really the only difference so you know overall in a nutshell i would run density deity I would run Provoke and Scorch, Scorching Flame, excuse me, and War Stampede if I were doing PVM. And likewise, I would run Density Deity, Scorching Flame, uh, War Stampede, and Divine Favor if I was going ahead and do a uh, PvP. Now, as far as the common talents, just as the other characters, the top left here, the draw technique is a passive talent, so max it out as fast as possible once you get your proficiencies of 2000 because it will help out um, your overall attack ability and doesn't take up a configuration slot. Uh, once you get your proficiencies high enough to about 4000 here for you, this one actually is I would replace for either. So if I had an upgraded character, I would run um, Toughness Aura over Provoke and over uh, Divine favor simply because of, of its increase in damage and your allies but let's just say you're on, on your own it's still great for your increased defense damage reduction by 20 percent and it lasts 30 seconds okay so you look at these 20 seconds 20 seconds so it's not only going to last longer but it's going to have a greater effect um, <clears throat> and then if you get on to further and further once you get to 5600 uh, and for those you don't know 5600 is what a rare god soul core uh, maxes out at so without going into epic you'll be able to unlock this level just um, 
a lot of repetitions of the tyrant portal there for you however i digress i just wanted to let you know how to you know that is the threshold there obtainable for you without getting crazy and having to craft a uh, epic or legendary god soul core but with that being said uh you know really really quick recap density deity scorch flames and war stampede regardless uh, pvp go ahead and grab the divine favor pvm go ahead with provoke uh, and that's really bad and with that being said i thank everybody for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next episode